Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another exciting week of Rush Raiders using the Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader ruleset. Does anyone remember where we left off last time? Because I sure as hell don't. Purple star all the way across the sky. Oh yeah, that's fine. Did we not kill a giant spider thing? Oh yeah, that was kind of important, I suppose. Oh yeah, my beloved fail spider. It always fails me. And we took pictures with its corpse. Yeah. Also, we, we have some baby spiders as pets now. No. We just have samples. Not pets. I will burn them. Did you take some of the eggs as well? Uh, I think we left those, so I decided not to mess with them. Alright, so you just, right. you just have some living spiders then, in, in a tapware. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we made holes in them, but I don't think spiders use up a lot of oxygen. Uh, I think you made holes. I think that's one of the things you pointed out. Hmm. I'm not as dumb as I thought I was. I mean, I wasn't going to say anything. It's a re revelation. Yeah, a some, somewhat. So, did we leave off? Were you still on the planet? Or did you go back to your ship? I can't, I genuinely I can't remember this. we may have went on... The baby ship to go into the mothership. Oh yeah, you went into the shuttle and I know you had some sleep, but I don't think you went back to... No wait, that was before you went in, so yeah, you probably went in back into the shuttle. I so... think so. I want to say yes, but I'm yeah, not I, sure. I think we ended the last session with like fast-forwarding us putting everything back on the shuttle, including the samples. Yeah, and this is why you keep detailed notes on everything which I tend to forget to do. Uh, I keep detailed, detailed notes. notes. Okay, what notes. is that and can I eat it? I mean, if I honestly knew where it was, then I, I wouldn't be, be uh, in this position right now. Anyway, so I think we start with you on the shuttle um still landed on the on the ground on the planet because i honestly can't remember where we left off and that's a good starting point so do you want to do anything else on the planet or do you want to fly back to to the ship uh i'm fine for not doing anything i'm getting yeah. all my rules for the bullshit that i'm about to do yeah, I think we have all the samples we're ever going to need from this planet. Yeah, hunting party was fun, but let's get back to trading. Yeah, let's get this stuff up to the to whoever classifies themselves as a, a learned person. Yeah, I remember where we left off. We were discussing where to jump. You just wanted me to jump from where we are to 10 and 5, and I did not want to do that. Because it means jumping in the middle of nowhere, and you guys suck. Well, if we jump back to Lucian's Breath, we don't have a route there either. If we, yes, but we have a... we need to... fuck you. I mean, we jumped from Lucian's Breath here, so if we jump back to Lucian's Breath, can't we get the complete... Yes, uh, route that a, way. a known what route, which gives us more money. Than when we turn it in, and we haven't turned any shit in yet. Yet. Yeah, but I think that would be the best idea for now. Just go back to Lucian's Breath, and uh, by the time we're back, maybe they've sorted out the stuff with Fury and Five, and we actually get the benefits from our previous arrangements. Uh, yeah, but we also need to uphold our end of the bargain and uh, we'll just find get people. Yeah, find some stupid, stupid uh, farmers or whatever to we can lure, lure into getting into a work 
contract for the rest of their generation's life. Did we ever finish... Uh, I mean, Horium is an entire system, right? Did we ever finish the scans to see if there's any humans on any of the other planets? Uh, nope. You basically flew to... Well, we got a basic scan of everything, I thought. Or at least... Yeah, you, uh, got, you the... got a basic scan of everything for the two weeks you spent in system, just hanging around. Uh, this was the only habitable planet, but you don't know what the, if the other planets and moons and such have any actual resources on them. You just know that this was the only place that could uphold life. So, where should we go get those people? I mean, we could go to a penal world and just uh, get some contracts there, but I don't think the guys in Lucian's breath would be happy about that. The... Yeah, he, he basically stated that anything but the penal world. And I kind of want to... I kind of want to butter that guy up. He's our first potential contract out here well there is a war world nearby where there's bound to be a lot of refugees who want to get off that planet we could um, become are, are, are war you, heroes are you referring to safe uh selden's folly is what i thought about or oh yeah safe is even closer um cal would you allow me to make a expanse roll for safe go for it I get plus 10 because Librarian Vault. Time to expand your mind. Ah, uh, fuck that. I'll reroll. Can you tell yourself to do good? Uh, no. I'm not schizophrenic. I don't think that's actually what schizophrenic means, but hey. It could be. Multiple personalities. If you're a tech priest, you can actually have benefits from having multiple personalities. I bet okay. a psychic could too. One personality could go insane while the other is still a-okay. Uh, yeah, safe. The reason why safe is a war well, it's because, well, they have big-ass mobile hive cities that just shoot each other for no real reason. They've forgotten why they're shooting at each other. Well, that's actually perfect. People don't have a reason to want to be in the war, so there's bound to be a lot of people who want to leave. And since it's cities shooting at cities, the ship could be fine. We just take a shuttle down, talk to some people. I'd rather not get shot. Well, we gotta do something, and I think those people will probably be the cheapest considering that probably just getting off that place is going to be its own reward. How about we go and loosen his breath? Talk to the Mechanicus contingent that's there, because we know they're there, and ask them if they know any places where we might find some willing people to... and two places to colonize a planet and in a loosen's breath. And that makes me happier. Just an idea. Not opposed to it, but uh, Captain, what would you say? I think it's yeah. drowning in tea. Maybe. Um, I would prefer going back to a system we know something about rather than to just journey around Winter Scales Realm looking for whatever the hell. And I can't really disagree with my navigator when he says that having a completed warp route would be a nice thing. Yes, well, if we're going to colonize Horium eventually. A completed warp route to somewhere might be handy. 
Actually, since we're going back to Lucian's breath to get the people we need for the contract, we might get a, a, a bulk discount if we get some to colonize as well. So we could... So I don't to... know. We're going to Lucian's breath to find out if Mechanicus know. Because they'll be interested in the mining world. Because they'll supply the machines for it. If we're going to mine on her, the Hiraeum system. That's true. So they'd have an interest in that as well. Yeah, speaking of the Mechanicus, uh, let's... The samples we took, we might, we might as well lead them with the uh, uh, Goralians boys. And they can do the necessary testing. See if it's worth anything. Yeah, I mean, we could make things a lot easier on ourselves if we just lease out the planet at Horium instead of doing the work ourselves. Let them see if the stuff is worth anything, and if they're interested, they can pay us parts of the profit if they want to go mine there. And if it's dead, definitely radioactive, we can sell it to the Godwins, because they like purple. Uh, not that I think that Lucius would accept anything coming from me, but hey. Just don't tell him it's from you. Maybe if I go negotiate, he seems to like me. <laughs> uh, I would like you intact, please. I'm sure when I he was there with you, he said next time we meet, it won't be so friendly. But so, so, something, there. something. Um... So, uh, murder servitors, uh, food for murder servitors. That's that. That's the one. Yes, murder servitors of doom. Needy, needy, wanting, wanting doom. Something like that. Yes. So, sorry, I was spacing out a bit because I was trying to f read up on everything. Um, what's the what's the plan here? Like, uh. Go back to Lucian's breath, get the, show them the samples, ask them if they know a better way to get a lot of people than to go to a war world, and probably then go to a war world. You lot will be the death of me. May I? Stri I'm going to be the death of me. Strictly as the GM here, can I make a suggestion? Please. No. You rolled a common lore Coronas expanse. I think you would know where to find people other than a war world. Or if you want, you can roll it again, since you inquired about a specific place. But if you want, you can roll another common lore Coronas to see if you know any other places that would have uh, a surplus population. Okay. Uh, yeah, I get yeah again plus ten for librarian vault, and that's my stuff. Ah, uh, fuck it. I have started four fate points. I might as well use them. Yeah, you know a couple of worlds um, that would be better suited to gather population from than a war world. Yeah, anyone close by? Well, footfall w wouldn't be a miss. Admittedly, that is a fair point. Admittedly, it's um, somewhat of a you know hive of scum and villainy, but. It's still better than a penal colony because no one's there. No one on uh, footfall is actually uh, in the system. 
just they're just suspicious they aren't actually been sentenced so would probably be accepted on uh, Lucian's breath do we already have the route between Lucian's breath and footfall uh, we have it from footfall to Lucian's breath oh, yeah, then that's perfect go from Horium to Lucian's breath get that route completed then from Lucian's breath to footfall to get some contracts get that route completed and then while everything's working out on its own we can go explore somewhere else and if I remember right uh there was a navigator house in footfall so, so we can actually turn out. that stuff in yeah, yeah. You, your house has a presence on footfall so you would be able to hand in the shards you have been writing down for extra profit factor mm -hmm. my eyes aren't turning to throne guild symbols honest <laughs> <laughs> so yeah navigator make it so and tell him to do it good. Right. So your plan is to jump to Lucian's breath then? Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. What you can do is to roll a navigate stellar, navigation stellar, to try to cut down the journey. Otherwise, it's going to take you two weeks to reach the outer rim of the system where you can jump. Uh, I think that. I have that. Do you? Yeah. I thought that was a void master only thing. So yeah. Well, you still have um, have uh, NPC crew that can do that. Yeah, but I have a fifty-four. Which is better than the forty that the crew have. Quite uh, a bit. Notorian sixty-four. Aha. Best craftsmanship finger guns, oh boy. Right. And you need it. Holy shit! All right, roll damage since you hit it with your finger gun. You are now permanently blinded on one eye. <laughs> GG. Do I get a fancy eye patch? Yes. If you get anything fancy, better be part of it. Otherwise, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, you cut down travel time by one day, so instead of taking 14 days to, to the edge, you, it takes 14 days. Woo. Well, you did get a success. Yeah. The yes, land dynasty. We just barely scraped by. Hey, I think we did pretty well for ourselves so far. We barely scraped by, or we succeed magnificently. Excellent. Let's do the the warp shenanigans then. Oh, my favorite part of the day. Uh... Let's get dangerous. Yep. Can I divine the ovaries? Absolutely. It's always going to be ovaries now. Not in my bloody campaign, it ain't. There you go. I think it's supposed to have done that well. Holy shit, I rolled a two. You can win. You feel great. You can do it. You're not in his mind yet. Stop it. Yeah, you feel confident about the journey ahead of you. Awesome. So give the word to the captain and tickle the buttons. Push the big purple button that says warp. I estimate. Excellent. Try to locate the astronomy nomicon. Try to find the Emperor's holy toilet. His golden shitter, as it were. That's a bit. That is a bit shit. I kind of almost want to re-roll that. 
Actually, I get another degree of success because I forgot to add Al's 10. Yeah, I do that. That's important. And it's auto casting. Yeah. Uh, so that just means. It's one degree of success then. So, yeah, another 10 for all my warp navigation shit. Yes. All right, eh? Also, Ram, you also got plus 10 for the hull if you haven't patched that in yet. Oh fuck, I forgot about that. And yeah, I'm supposed to get like plus 35 basic for... Fuck. Yeah, the nav is primer as well if you didn't take that into account. Yeah, for the navigate warp. So for guess the travel time, it's probably a bit better. <laughs> it should be like 20... Uh, 2.5 better. <laughs> yeah, but you still... Since you don't have a charge... And you have never travelled this part before, yeah, you have no idea how long yeah, it's going to take. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. Well, I should be able to kind of guess. Yeah, yeah, you have a rough estimate. That's all I need. Charity thing. So it's plus 35... Plus the 10 from that shit. And plus the 10 for it being other shit. There we go. Alright, before we go any further with this, uh, I want every one of you to roll me a willpower thing. Uh, oh, flat for willpower. entering the warp. Yeah, we, we should probably have done that first. Hello darkness, my old friend. Oh god. I'm gonna re-roll that. Can we do the thing to feast again? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to re-roll mine as well. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Didn't think I'd see the day when I succeed a willpower test with this character. Never see the day where you want to succeed a willpower test. Uh, I'll re-roll as well then. Well, I don't want to get scared. I want to become crazy. Uh, well, you become crazy be be by being scared. Yeah, I'd rather be uh, become crazy. And well, I roll a five. Thank you, dice gods. <laughs> nice. Somehow we all succeeded. Well, okay. damn it. So yeah, keep going with your uh, 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 thing with you. Oh, that's right, I'm only one insanity point away from 20. How many did you start with, by the way? Four. That's impressive, like not gonna lie. Well, it's because I wandered around in that uh, ritualistic murder thingy yeah. for quite a while. We're never gonna get the stand shelf, are we? There we go. You just tell me how many times you we do warp encounters. Yeah, there is a um, there is a couple of things here. Actually, yeah, we have to figure out how many times we're or how many days we're in the warp. Yeah, exactly. And then by how much we shorten it with all our bullshit that we have on the ship. 
Yeah, I love you, Farugo. You're the best ship. We thought skittish was kind of shit, but now we actually really like it. It's brilliant. Just, just run away from everything. Yeah, I mean, the difference between 10 and 9 in speed isn't that severe, so... Fucking bollocks, all of it. I'm guessing that's great for us. Do we go backward in time? Is this, this, is this the thing that happens? I really hope it is. So, this is a safe road to all your warp uh, tests have been at a additional plus 10 for a safe oh, route. Right. Or, a, sorry, stable route. And, yeah, roll me, someone roll me a D5. Navigator. You literally spend, this journey took you two days in the warp. Brilliant. And this is unmodified at all. <laughs> but I love give, it. give me another D5, because you're, you're navigating the warp without... Uh, yeah, so it took you seven days total. So that's a week we get to reduce it by D5 days. <laughs> Isn't it D10? Uh, yes, D10 days per full week of travel. <laughs> Roll us a 10, come on. Let's go back in time. Yeah, actually, it doesn't have any... That only The only thing about that, it doesn't trigger unless it's... Uh... Uh, one week or more, so I think we technically can go back in time here. Damn it! So three days. Yeah, you spend three days in the warp, so roll me 2d100. Yeah, don't we have other bullshit? I want to know if we have other bullshit. What do you mean? This is the warp encounter. No, no I want other... Uh, less time bullshit. Uh, it only works if... It can't reduce it below a week, the other thing. Ah, uh, shit. So how many days? Uh, three days. Three days, yeah. So two to ten. Two to hundred, sorry. A 77 and a 32. I don't have the rule book up, but I think 77 might be good. Or it might be horrible. I can't remember. 77 might be a warp storm. Uh, we're using the Navis Primer stuff, right? Uh, yeah, it's either Ethereal Reef or um, Psychic Predators. Uh... <laughs> Do we want to go on a bit of a funky hunt? Uh, that's up to you. Well, I because, suppose it's technically up to me, but... Uh, the fear reef was, is terrible, if I remember correctly. What page is it in the Nervous Prime? 42. Basically, it's either the ship takes damage with the reef, or you have a war warp incursion with the psychic predators. So that's your uh... choice. I'm up for a bit of combat. Yeah, I mean, we can't roll above Ebengeists. And those are not that really dangerous, I don't think. At least, not in comparison with all the other shit. So 
So let's see, we could get Swarming Malice, Possession, Plague of Madness, or a Demonic Incursion. None of them sound very nice, to be honest. So, yeah. It's either that or your ship takes 1d10 plus 2 damage ignoring void shields. And that's something you can easily, your your mechanic guy can easily fix. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And our void shields are operational, unless the void shields get hit. No, the void sh it goes through void shields. As it is a... Oh, I mean the Geller field, sorry. Yeah, yeah. If the Geller field is damaged, then we're fucked. That's 2d10 plus 3. Yeah, I mean, and you can roll a 1 here, so, like, minimum is 3 damage, and you have, what, 20? 20 or 30? Uh, yeah, 30. Yeah, the effect grief makes more sense. I'd rather avoid a demonic incursion, to be honest. I wish I could make a navigate warp or stellar test to avoid it, but hey you know. So do you take the damage? Yeah, yes. I think so. Physical encounter, doesn't that mean something, by the way? Aha, we can avoid physical encounters. Yeah, challenging warp, navigate warp test, uh, plus zero. To see yes. if you can avoid it. Uh, yeah, you get you get plus ten for the uh, warp spain hall. Plus ten from me. Then now it's primer. Which is plus ten and plus five for my role in the ship. And I'm guessing the locating astronomical won't help. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I don't know why we were worried. Uh, we also need a plus 10 pilot spell spacecraft. Yep. So Fuck. you you successfully... Uh, tell the pilot. Yeah, tell the pilot that there is a, a warp reef coming up and he needs to make some course adjustments. Okay, I'll roll for the pilot. So it's at 40. Yeah, because I, I give. Well. Yeah. And I don't think we have any uh, bonuses to this pilot spacecraft here. Nope. No, it's all, all bonuses are navigation board, basically. Which I like. Oh yeah, it's plus 10 also, but yeah, negative 4.1. Why can't they be roll? Shoot the pilot, kill him. Pilot sucks. I mean, he doesn't need a fate point. We can just yank him off the chair and uh, plonk another one down. We have the, plenty of them. The ship yours uh, ferociously as the you hit the warp reef uh, in full force, and you, your ship takes ten damage. We're down to twenty. Woo! I might just stare at that pilot once I get out the bubble. Cargo Bay, eh? No, I'll just stay at him. Uh, don't we also lose something for hold integrity? Or is that only in combat? I think that's only in combat. Like, it only says that the, the ship takes takes the damage. It doesn't yeah. say anything else about it. Uh, so I think it's just how combat. How do you determine where on the ship it takes damage? It doesn't say, really. It's just all over the ship, I guess. Yeah. I'm just wondering, because it says in the problem, if the Geller field is damaged, it's 2d10. Uh, I think that means if the Geller field is damaged before you run into the thing. Uh, yeah, that's yeah it's the, if, the, if, if the component has taken damage, so it's unbalanced or whatever. Yeah, it's me being sleepy still. 
I'll stop that. Silly. No. Right, so... You spend, no rest for the wicked. Yeah, you spend, what, three days in the warp? And you... Scratch the paint? Yeah. And you did, did the manage, manage a successful re-entry without coming out upside down or into a star, so that was a good jump. I'm okay with this. So, now that you're back in real space again, uh, do you want to transcribe the route? Of course I do. This is what I'm here for. I mean... Quick, I'm quick drawing my finger gun. Actually, do I even have quick... Oh yeah, I got it last time. <laughs> uh, so, yes. Yeah, you did the thing first time this time. GG. So, write it down in your uh, handout. So, it takes you about two weeks to get back uh, in orbit, high anchor, above uh, Lucian's breath. Is there anything specific you want to do during this time? Uh, I would have liked to see if uh, somebody on the crew could maybe uh, fix up the cat's hat that I have. Just scoop everything out inside so I can turn it into a hat. I forgot about that. Yeah, you would probably have done that before you, as you were leaving um, the planet before you jumped. Because otherwise yeah, it would be rotten wanna... by, by that point. Yeah, I just didn't want to interrupt everything just for my head. It is very polite of you. Uh, yeah, I would have, um, as soon as we get into Lucian system, I would just, you know, have a, a Felix person just send over a message to the Carvus to just see, get a status report on their progress. And they're up. Yeah. If they're up, if they are in operational condition at this point. I thought the Carvus was on Therion 5. Uh, yes it is. Sorry, I'm confusing planets. I mean, you can have the astropath send over a message. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, sorry, I just realized my plan was to, if they aren't in operation condition, I would just order them to go to Horeum to finish off surveying the planets. A deep survey. I think we had this discussion sometime between sessions, but you can't really send over astro uh, navigation coordinates by Astropath. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. They don't know where to jump to begin with. Well, then I'm ordering them to go to Lucian's Breath because Forge Wells are weird. Uh, would they have a navigator? Or not? Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully. Because I don't think you acquired one. Okay. Macarius, you're useless and I hang up. Even though it's an astropath call, which is one way. We go to football. I'll hand in my known warp roots to my house and request a uh, family member to come back with us to go in the canvas to help us out. Yeah, the... And yeah. uh, before we move on to footfall, we should uh, get the samples down to Lucian's breath. So should we just go down, give them the samples, explain them the situation, and instantly jump over to footfall, or do you want to repair the hull first? There are, uh, if I may interject, there are uh, mechanicus present on footfall as well. 
So if you want, you can equally do it there. And it wouldn't be a, a rival mining world that you were handing resources over to. Uh, yeah, I would prefer footfall because, well, footfall isn't the current war zone for two major rogue trader dynasties. Things I should have told you. That Shit. you know of. Well, I guess to uh, Torian gets to do all that nonsense all over again. So, quick question here. Do you just do a 180 and then jump back, jump into the warp again? Or do you actually do the whole go to planet, say fuck this and take another two weeks? Uh, I mean, if we don't have anything yet to do on this planet, I'd say let's just do the 180 and... Keep well, on we could still on. stay at the edge of just repair the ship a little bit and then jump to football. Yeah, 20 hulls good enough. Uh, it gives your navigator a bit of a rest, but hey, who cares? Whatever. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. like, If we jump to football, in football we have business to take care of, so we are going to be spending some time there, so we might as well repair it there. Yeah, fair enough. And I mean, what's the chances of another etheric reef? Uh, about what five and a hundred, five and ten. I'm something, confused. Something like that. Yeah. So do the thing again if you're jumping. <laughs> this is great. Ten. I can't just lean back and let him do all the role play. And yeah, um, hey, Quinn. I should get a bonus XP for this shit. Yeah, well, at the end of the session, <laughs> unless you're a complete prick to me like you usually are. I uh, never am. Always. He lied. Uh, hey, Quinn. Um, one of the you handed off to one of the in the staff, and a couple of days, and by the time you translate into warp, he comes back with a fancy hat for you. Nice. Okay, now I have a cat's hat on my head, and on top of that, a tri corner hat. So I look fancy as fuck. Yeah, the, the signs are are favorable for a jump. Yeah. Do the thing whilst I go and get some water. I'll do all the things. Is this a known road for you guys? Uh, uh, it's not. We only went from football to Lucian's Breath because I said, fuck it, let's not go to the, any other planets. Let's just go straight there. Which I'm almost regretting. Uh, but I find the Astronomicon. Excellent. So all my Navigate warp tests are now at 60. Which is nice. Plus 60. Yep, so do the thing. Thank the Emperor for small mercies. Boston Fortral can also try and repop re our crew because we kind of need it. Mm. Uh, so that thing. You did it well. Yep. What's the um, road you have here? Like, what's the time for that? 
uh, for getting there. Yeah, for for getting where you currently are from footfall to to Lucian. From footfall to Lucian, it took us four and a half days. I can't remember what the base was because I never wrote that down at the time. This is fucking hilarious. If you say so. Oh, trust me, it is. It, how, how long did it take you from Footfall to Lucian's again? Four and a half days. Yeah, I'm gonna modify this a bit because it says uh, either roll randomly or GM's discretion. Because if I were to use this result, that would be 5d10 plus uh, 250 days. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with that. <laughs> well, I'm not, because it makes no fucking sense that one-way trip is so um, is so short and the other one is almost a year. Yeah, and remember, we only have six months of life support. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the first, the first roll would be an indirect in path as well, so it would double. So it would literally almost be two years if I rolled well enough. Hmm. Yeah, that could be a slight problem. I vote for GM discretion. Because Cal is good at being discreet. Yeah, it takes you 16 days total. Without any bullshit? Without, without any... Uh, modifiers to it. Okay then, shall we do our bullshit? Two d tens, right? Uh, yes, because fourteen is two weeks. Uh, give me a plus five, someone. Oh, sorry, a d five, someone. Damn all this warp travel there bullshit. So 16, 21 days total, so three weeks. So three d10. Only bleep on a bleep sandwich. With bleep on dogs. <laughs> oh, well, I was going to say, maybe we should have done the skittish first. Well, this is skittish again. Reduce it by D5 weeks to minimum one week. Oh, I completely forgot about that one. When traveling between stars, which I believe we are. Yep. So we reduce it by three weeks, so it's a minimum of one week. And then we can reduce it by nine days. So it's minus two days. Okay, now it's more appropriate to post this. Let's do... Okay. I was thinking of another time song. Yeah, yeah, I know so, which one you mean. So, how long did this journey take off the audio modifiers? Uh, depends on which one counts first. Either one day or negative two days. Well, I say one day, because fuck time travel. Oh. It's hard enough for me to keep track of two separate fucking campaigns without doing the time travel bullshit. I just yeah. thought as we we exist in both places kind of at once and, and and at the same time and not at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I'm not having any of that bullshit. Uh, so I mean, basically, do, we just do two jumped out of the warp in those two d hundred, two d hundred, please. Oh, yeah. Ten and seventy-two. Uh, I think I might go with the ten. Oh yeah, willpower for everyone. Flat willpower. Uh, I'm rerolling that. Oh, uh, I'm not. 
I'm keeping my one faith point, thank you. So you took the ten, right? Yes. Uh, yes, because all as well. Yeah, all as well. And I'm going to reroll my willpower. Yay, I'm a, I'm alive. I'm sane. And would you like a senescence test? For. Uh, for all as well. Yes. To locate the Astronomicon again? Yes, please. So, two failures. So, Lorraine, please do me a D100 plus 50. And Akrim, do me a D100 plus 30. Me. Okay, that's not too bad. There is so, an extra thing. Uh, any character suffering from warp travel hallucination can try and check off the effects. See page 29. But I don't know how to shake it off. Well, we're in there for, what, one day? Yeah, another willpower test, it seems. And if we pass it, we just not ignore it. By the way, where's that list for these effects? Page... Uh, I don't know. Uh, Page 42. Be... Yeah. In Navis Primary. So give me another willpower test to see if you can shake off the effects. Otherwise you're... Take doing some things. Ah, damn it. I'm not re-rolling that. Well, uh, you got... Apparently <laughs> you're suffering another malignancy. Oh dear. For one day. So, as far as warp travel stuff goes, not too bad. Uh, malignancy... Wait... Just a straight up malignancy, not even corruption points. Okay. Nope, just a straight malignancy. Do a D100. And as soon as we exit the warp, it just disappears. Yeah. So if you get a bad one, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, so that's not a permanent one. Good. Nope. Because I think my obsession with collecting pinkies is already... Left ones. And cat ones as well. Yep. Oh yeah, I still need to get the cat pinky bone on my uh, bolter cane. Cat pinky trigger. You have irrational nausea. Alright, I'm vomiting all over the place for that one day that we are, are in warp. Yeah, yeah, it's just so... irrational. For some reason. Yeah, so something like seemingly normal gives you a gives you nausea a feeling of nausea. So every time you smell the the scent of recaf you get nauseous. I was more thinking about the, the pinkies that he's got. <laughs> that's not that a, would just be that's not a fucking <laughs> irrational thing to be to be nauseous. It about. would be for him. No, yep. it wouldn't. <laughs> clean up in essential quarters. Clean up in essential quarters. Also, now that uh, we've mentioned the cat, uh, the cat pinky, I would like to use the time that we are in warp to get someone to fashion the cat pinky as my, as the trigger on my bolter cane. Uh, I think that would only be Goralian's job. Our very fancy technique. Yep. Yeah, one of the one of the mechanical stuff uh, sorted out for you. I'm getting fancier every day. Although good, since good. bone is a lot more fragile than um, than metal, it, your trigger might break at some point. 
just be aware of that but you now have a bone trigger Yeah, do you want a shorter route for this as well? Uh, I will do. I'm just writing shit down at the minute. All right. Yeah, so now you're back in footfall again. Or after the... Do you want to do a... a what the hell is it called? Navigate, stellar navigation to see if you can cut down the travel time. Uh, yes, maybe. Uh, there's that, and there's that. There we go. Boom. Back like it. No, it's uh, navigate warp to transcribe the route. Wait, what? Yeah, don't ask why. It's just that's what it says in the rules. Now, transcribe the route. Well, it's, my uh... trade astrographer is more shit than my navigate warp. Can I just keep that just a wee bit better? Yeah, you can keep it, but because it doesn't matter how many successes you get on it. But yes, for future reference, it's navigate warp for some inexplicable Fucking reason. A rat of bullshit. Yeah, don't ask. Well, what's because the I... point in trade astrographer? I don't, I don't know. know if I asked this. I, only, I honestly don't know. I, I don't care either. But yeah, um, 12 days takes from the outer rim to high anchor point over footfall. The navigator's going to have a nap. The navigator's first coming with me and t turning those shorts in. Because I need uh, oh, money. Um, lady, Captain. I love you too. But I mean, technically, you could have napped sometime during these 12 days that it took to get you there. I've been napping the whole 12 days. Then you should be rested by now. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so you're in footfall. What do you want to do? Well, we have three orders of business here. One yes. is turning the charts. The other is get the people. Uh both for us and for Lucian's, uh, or is it Fear and Five, one of the two, and get the samples delivered and sort out the deal for mining on Orium. So, yeah. Also, um, repairing the ship after that reef bullshit and shopping. Five. Okay. We have five nice. orders of business. Shopping. God damn it. And we do have a map of Footfall as well, somewhere. Uh, no, that was on Port Wonder. Was it? I thought we had like a... Is Port uh, Wonder the space station? Yeah, Port Wonder is the thing before the mall, and Footfall is the one after, in Coronas. I'm just trying yeah. to remember which one we had a map they're, they're both space station. Footfall is just a bunch of asteroids tethered together by big chains and that's giant statue to the Emperor. What wonder is your more traditional space station? Yeah, frankly, I don't have a map over footfall. It's fine. It's a bunch of bullshit anyway. Yeah, anyway, so... Yes. Yay, let's go to the Navigator House. Yarrr. Of... Uh... Nobility House Dorian, what's your family again? Uh, House Bull of Shittus. Ah, Seriously, yes. Seriously, bloke. Seriously. It, it's a nomad uh, house, so perhaps they don't have... Uh, I mean, it would fit with the, the place, because the, the asteroids would just float around that they have their house in, so... I also can't remember the name of the house. I did yes. pick one, but I thought I'd just make the name too big on my character sheet so I didn't bother. Um, yeah. Yeah, you go to the correct house. We don't need to bother with the details. I know yes, that noble that's, that's house, nice. which are allied to my dynasty, which I totally remember the name of. Yay, let's go. Yeah, that one. Yeah, so... 
you head there, you hand in the charge. Uh, do you want to role play this out, or should we just fast forward this bit? Uh, yeah, let's just fast forward. Excellent. And also request a navigator to come with this to go to the cabis. Um, 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 any particular thing, uh, skill level of it, or do you want the you know bog standard one? I would say fifty skill level, but I know that's probably going to be impossible to get. I, I mean, it, it would go with the requisition. It would go with the requisition rolls, if you wanted to get one of those. Yeah. So if you wanted to get a, a skill level f fifty characteristic navigator, it would be you're getting one, so it's plus ten total. For the acquisition role, and you need to roll your profit factor or below. That's not too bad. Uh, how many routes do we have to turn in? Two? I think so. Uh, Three and Lucian's three. Breath and Lucian's Breath Footfall, right? We have Footfall, Lucian's Breath, Lucian's Breath fed in five, and Hurium to Lucian's Breath. Okay, so we have three. three. Yeah, so that's uh, free to your profit factor. Yay! We, our profit factor is the answer to life, the universe and everything. Technically I'm winning because I'm the first person to get his profit factor. <laughs> that's my excuse. 42. So, I'll make a requisition to get a navigator for the canvas at 40, so it'd be plus 20. Would that be right? Uh, yeah. And what is our thing now? 42. 42. Uh, wait, what kind of roll is this again? Normal re uh, acquisition roll. Okay. Fuck, 10 out. Are you going to fade point? Uh, yes, why not? I'll use my last one. I get one. Excellent. You get, uh, what, third, third, 40? 40. 40. Yes. Yeah, 40 now. I could have got a 50. Fuck. Could have got one that was better than me. That could have been fun. Yeah, so I have a navigator friend. Who is going away? Well, we have to take him to the canvas. Yeah, but yeah. I'll fill in that in a moment. So, yeah, that's sorted. Um, you want to do a couple of other things here as well. Uh, yeah, we need uh, thing of stuff that actually don't need role playing first. We can just deal with that quick and easy. Like uh, uh, repairing the ship. Do you want to have your mechanicus do that, or do you want to hire repair services? Uh, well, I think the mechanicus on board should be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, it'd probably be faster as well. I forget the rules associated with that. Isn't that just tech use ma no, ma uh, modified by something? Yeah, it's... Um, um, something like that. We can look it up in the break. Uh, is there any? What else did you want to do? 
that we can just fast forward uh, before we go to a break. Uh, getting people, I guess, is a requisition test. Yeah, and you can do that with um, a barter to modify the, the test. All right, uh, should I do the barter since mine is... I uh, yeah, I don't have barter, so that's your job. Okay, uh, here's my question. Is it, do we deal with government, academics, nobility, or underworld here? It would be something we would, I think, would have to roleplay, perhaps. But it entirely depends on you, like, where do you go to get the people? That is a good question, I don't know enough uh, about this universe. Well, we know football is... Uh place of scum, high villainy, and whatnot. So, perhaps they'd be better going to the underworld? Yeah, probably. Get... Maybe even just rile up people, like, hold a speech somewhere. I don't know. So, yeah, I think underworld would probably be the best here, if we just go through the bars and get some people. Probably. So, tell you what, let's take a quick break here, and then... Um... We figure we can figure this out during the break, and then we come back and, and do all the stuff. All right. So let's take a, a quick uh, five minutes or so break, five ten minute, five to ten minute break. See you in a bit. Ooh. 